We're down to the last four in the VFL competition. It is preliminary finals weekend ahead of us, and on Saturday it's going to be Geelong versus Williamstown, Reese, No question about the fact that Geelong deserves to be favourites for the flag. Williamstown, there's going to be some big things happen throughout the week, whether Cameron Wood's available, whether Tom Campbell is available, and that might have a big say in whether they're able to defeat Geelong. But with the form they showed against Port Melbourne, they're in with a chance. Oh, yeah, they, they, they're playing very, very good football and they totally dominated Port. And on a smaller ground, Geelong's going to be a little bit vulnerable. If it was played down at Geelong, you think they'd, you know, be, be a shoe in basically. But uh, on the smaller ground at Port Melbourne, um, as we saw a few weeks ago against Port Melbourne, Geelong seemed to struggle to get their running game going, is what they're very good at. Williamstown. Look, they, they need a bit of luck. They need a Ruckman. And if they go in the game mm. without a Ruckman, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. But uh, And this Geelong team, uh, they've been very good and very consistent right over the year. But Williamstown playing good football at the right time of the year. And I doubt very much whether the Geelong faithful would share this viewpoint. But the fact that they were beaten by Fremantle in the AFL means that they have open slather selection for this game, which is a bonus to them. Yeah, it certainly is. So any players who aren't playing in their AFL team can... Um, have a game and we saw Paul Chapman here a couple of weeks ago who actually kicked the winning goal against uh, Port Melbourne so uh, you don't know who's going to be playing um, there could be a few changes in the senior team so um, yeah they, they could have a very good team in and then on Sunday, it's going to be Box Hill and Werribee. Box Hill rested with the week off. They defeated Werribee quite convincingly in the middle of the season. But from what we saw from the Tigers in their semi-final victory over the Casey Scorpions, it was a game they didn't really look like losing from midway through the second quarter. Yeah, and the opposite happens with Box Hill because uh, they don't get the yeah. you know the same uh, treatment as Geelong. Um, they'll only get their mm. players who are eligible to play from the Hawthorne list. So. Uh, so they'll be a little bit restricted and um, we're be playing fantastic football. This is going to be a cracker game. Two great semi-finals coming up or preliminary finals. Yeah, and the thing about Werribee is it would not surprise you if they won by 10 goals and it wouldn't surprise you if they lost by 10 goals. They're just that sort of team. And I know Werribee supporters are sick of hearing it and I'm sure Scotty West is sick of hearing it, but they are enigmatic and uh, their best is as good as anybody's. And, and I think, you know, we used to say which Werribee is going to turn up mm. today because they'd have poor matches. But now, even in games, they're able to pile goals on and play some really scintillating football um, in, in short periods of time and, and, and then sort of go walk about for a while. But uh, anyway, it's going to be a great game. They're only a kick away from making it through to the grand final last year. Will they be able to do it this year, Werribee? Two great games coming up on the weekend. Hope you can join us on Grandstand for Geelong and Williamstown on Saturday at 2pm. Box Hill Hawks against Werribee on Sunday at 2pm. And the winners will advance to the VFL grand final of 2013. And of course, you'll see all of the action right here on Grandstand.